Hello everyone, welcome to the May 2022 wrap up and the big news for the month was the epic changes to the Kainga Ora First Home Loan and First Home Grant schemes announced in the most recent government budget. Every first home buyer needs to stop what they're doing right now and see how these changes affect them. But first, if you get a little bit of info out of this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button to support our community channel. All right, and no change to the co-ownership scheme from the government called the First Home Partners Scheme, but some big changes to the First Home Loan Scheme and the First Home Grant Scheme. Firstly, with the first home loan, there is now no price cap for getting a first home loan. In other words, there is no maximum purchase price when using the first home loan. That means whatever you can afford on your income up to the threshold of $150,000 for couples and single parents, you can buy with just 5% deposit. Wow. This is huge news for anyone in the smaller, more affordable towns who may be able to get a decent sized house for around $800,000 to $850,000, where previously they could only spend a maximum of around $500,000. The first home grant, which is the grant money from the government to help with first home buyers' deposits, got some refreshed price caps with much more realistic price categories and some very clear geographical boundaries. For all first home buyers with less than $150,000 of income in the past 12 months, it would be worth taking the time to check if you now fall into the criteria for these two very cool schemes. We also have a 30 minute video on this YouTube channel where I break down exactly what the first home loan, first home grant and first home partner schemes are all about. Closer to the end of the month came the anticipated official cash rate announcement, up another 50 basis points to 2%. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand maintains that much like COVID lockdowns, going hard early is still the better option to bring inflation back into its target range of around 2%. It's currently sitting at 6.9%. The Reserve Bank have signaled that the OCR will return to lower rates when economic indicators, namely inflation, return to their expected ranges. In other words, when inflation is back in control, mortgage rates are likely to come down. The double raise of the OCR by 50 basis points is unprecedented. In 1999 and 2000, there was a 50 basis point rise, followed by a 25 basis point rise, back to 50, back to 25, and then back to 50. But this go hard, go early strategy with back to back 50 basis points increases is the biggest move in the history of the official cash rate since the rate's inception on the 17th of March 1999. Most economists are forecasting two more 50 basis point rises at some point this year, but these are unlikely to occur in the next announcement until the Reserve Bank has seen the economic effects of the latest moves. As the OCR rises were largely expected by the money markets, interest rates were fairly flat for the month, with at least one bank offering a good discount on their two-year rate, managing to get it under 5%. Finally, no word yet on the rework of the Credit Contracts and Consumer Finance Act, or Triple CFA. Oh, come on! Due sometime in May or June, the regulations that caused, and my lawyers have told me to say the word allegedly, the regulations that have allegedly caused the complete collapse of finance availability in New Zealand is still not fixed, having now been in place for six months. The amount of time it has taken to fix the very basic errors in this triple CFA regulations is astounding. Errors like counting voluntary savings, in other words, savings that you are voluntarily doing each month but could stop any time, as an ongoing expense shows why the triple CFA should never have been used to try and cool the property market in the first place. While other levers such as loan to value ratios, commonly known as LVRs, can be adjusted at a moment's notice, the triple CFA has largely destroyed New Zealanders' ability to borrow and after six months is still not fixed. One eternity later. We have every finger crossed that next month's video will bring some good news for mortgage applicants who spend a little too much on coffee but have every intention of stopping once they own a house. And that's it for this month. Hit subscribe to see more of our videos. I'm Rupert Goff. Thanks for watching.